Perfect. Um, our viewers, a little bit closer? This is good? Okay. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Uh, our viewers, and now uh, we are still interviewing uh, some of the guests and people that are being awarded um, the Vigor International Awards of 2018. We have with us Mr. Chaz, who is an entrepreneur and a philanthropist who runs his own insurance company, Jazz Insurance, uh, based in Ontario. Mr. Chaz, welcome to Home Market TV. Thank you, madam. So, um, you being a ph philanthropist and somebody uh, that's extremely active within the community, why do you think Vigor Awards is an important ceremony? Well, um, <laughs> that's a tough question for this short of an interview, mm -hmm. but I would say that any, any initiative that um, is meant to help people um, or showcase people who are helping others, mm -hmm. I think it's a teaching experience for anyone that sees. I, I think that the more of us that are out there helping and showing that there are normal people who are helping tells people that it, it doesn't have to be, you don't have to be up here, mm -hmm. you know, to help. I think that all of us can help and I think society as a whole would be a better place if we all have that mindset, you know, whether we're down here or mm -hmm. we're up here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. That's a key point. Um, so. The Vigor Awards have humanitarian effort as an, as an underlining. What is something that you're passionate about that you want to tell people that you do give back in? Because I've heard you before saying that you believe in giving back to others, and that's very important. Sure. I mean, there are countless things that I, that I am involved in. Um, generally speaking, I would say anything involving children and anything involving education are you know passions for me um so i'm you know i'm part of the brandon hill uh charity which is for um, education in jamaica i'm part of the biddy um, charity which is for education in uh, kenya um so i mean I, I can name a couple of them but at the end of the day i think that you know we're familiar with certain names but i think that there's there are a lot of small organizations and and people who are constantly doing amazing things and i think the more we tell the world about them you know the more other people are encouraged to you know take on the mantle and sort of do the same thing right yeah absolutely absolutely uh for somebody who's watching us right now who's who's trying to start a business who's an entrepreneur who wants to start something what kind of advice would you give them well, um, I think that if you want to do something, if you really want to do something, I think you just have to go out and do it. Learn as much as you can about whatever it is you're passionate about. Um, become an expert. I mean, because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if anyone else is doing it. That's one of the things I hear the most when, when someone asks me for advice, you know, and they'll say, well, I want to do this, but so many people are doing it. And what I've come to learn in this life is it doesn't matter if anyone else is doing it. Find your way, you know, yeah. find, find a way to do it, you know, do it well and, and not even necessarily do it better. But, you know, you will always find people who are drawn to you. Mm -hmm. People remember how you make them feel. People don't think about exactly what you're talking about, right? Yes. I can sell you a t-shirt, he can sell you a t-shirt. Mm -hmm. But if we sit together and when I talk to you, you feel good about that relationship with me, you're yeah. probably going to buy the t-shirt from me. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Um, true businessman, well said. So because getting started is, is hard sometimes, right. and some people feel like you, you need an original idea right. to start off. But yeah, right. thank you so much, Mr. Chess. I appreciate your time. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Thank Cheers. You. So we are going to start the ceremony shortly. Yeah.